हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माय सेल्फ जलज नागपाल हेलो एवरीवन अगेन फॉर्मल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज लेट मी नो वेदर माय वॉइस एंड वेदर माय पीपीटी इज विजिबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू और नॉट एम आई ऑडिबल एम आई विजिबल एंड इज माय स्क्रीन visible to all of you please confirm in the chat box if you can give me a yes or a thumbs up in the chat box it would be a great favor to do okay so can someone confirm whether am i audible visible and uh, is all going good from my end and at yours end and ranjan is saying yes okay good afternoon yes so everything good, looks good right now i will also check it my cell phone pradhyan is also saying it's yes thank you yes so again welcome everyone i welcome you all to edutap and in today's class we are going to target one of the most uh, underrated components of nabard grade a exam which is computer component okay yes thank you everyone for confirming <coughs> in this particular class myself Uh, in this particular class my friends we are going to solve 105 questions and these 105 questions are picked from different different you know chapters of computer knowledge of your nabard grade a 2023 mind you i will be asking multiple questions if you all are energetic plus i will be also be taking different different previous year questions in between because if we solve pyqs that is previous year questions then only we will gain the much needed confidence okay and mind you we will try to have 100% syllabus coverage but this is just a revision class for you okay wherein i will be covering from basics and then i will be move to some advanced computing concepts as well okay so try to be energetic please post your responses please ask different different doubts in the chat box and if you enjoy the class definitely my overall goal will be fulfilled okay so let's start my friends yes before i move ahead the pdf of this particular class will be available on our telegram channel the link of the same is given in the description box below for more engaging concepts and more engaging videos you can also subscribe to our youtube channel i again repeat pdf kaha milegi uh, it will be available to your in your telegram channel you can join it from the description box below where to get pdf it will be available in a telegram channel i have repeated in hindi and i have repeated in english so please for god sake do not ask that question again because that is very irritating okay before i move ahead my friends as we all know nabard grade 2023 notification is out many of uh, you know you have been thinking that notification will come or not now is the time that notification is out and we have launched a dedicated pack a uh, live crash course for nabard grade a 2023 which will target phase 1 and phase 2 components of your nabard grade a starting from phase 1 to your phase 2 each and everything will be covered up here you will get live classes wherein teachers will come and they will take live classes on daily basis you will be given targets as well plus you will got uh, you will get notes and mind maps too so so as to you can revise it plus my friends you will also get a test series to practice your mcqs okay if you want to join it you can use the code selection cool now i hope each and everything is going good yes hello everyone good afternoon shubham samyak ayush rajeshwari vishal everyone okay so let's start our class now this is my question number 1 i am starting from a very basic question i want to first test you that what is the basic definition of word computer can you please let me know can you please let me know what does o stands in the full form of computer what does o stands in the full form of computer come on i am waiting for your answers the challenge is now open here r is missing so i will just put r what is the full form of computer i am starting from very basic question let's see who gives me the right answer now the challenge start we are starting from question number 1 we will go straight up to 105 questions chaliye arshana is opening the answer key with operating okay we will see can anyone let me know otherwise yes and can someone also let me what does c stands in the full form of computer what does c stands what does c stands in the full form of computer okay o stands for operating i agree with you the answer of this particular question is option b i agree with you but what does c stands 
can someone let me know what does C stands in the full form of computer so that I can know that whether you are copy pasting or you have the knowledge or not what does C stands in the full form of computer what does yes very good my friend C stands for common okay so those who have given the answer is common now if you see first we are starting with a very basic question of computer that what is the full form of computer in the most journal accepted form computer stands for common operating machine now this is the most basic form uh, full form which you have to remember that is c o m the acronym of computer starts with common operating machine particularly used for technical educational and research purpose so you have to remember this any day a question can appear in your nabard grade is yeah before I move ahead, my friends, when it comes to Nabard Grade 2023, when it comes to computer knowledge, mind you, you just have to cover the basic concepts. You do not have to cover the PhD level things of computer. You do not have to become a master. You just have to become jack of all trades over here, especially in the computer language. Okay. Or I would say in computer knowledge. So cover each and everything from a basic level when it comes to computer. 20 questions only will be asked in your phase one component of Nabard Grade A. Out of 20, if you are getting 10 correct, 10 completely correct, congratulations, this particular component is done. Then you can focus on some other merit sections as well. That is ARD, ESI and GA. Good. I can see maximum of you are replying correctly. That is common operating machine, particularly used for technical education and research purpose. Question number two. Now we are moving to generations of computer. Now we are moving to generations of computer. I will also ask you that how many generations are there. But first answer, third generation computers were based on which of the following technology. So I hope you remember. Please let me know the answer of question number two. Question number two, who will answer me question number two, third generation computer were based on which of the following technology. I am checking, I am checking the chat box on a very specific basis, third generation computer. Now, if I give you one chart, you will have to remember it. Okay. The answer over here is integrated circuits. That is your ICs. But remember my friend, the they, if, if when it comes to the history of computers, we have to remember that there are five generations of computer. Please remember this particular chart. First generation of computer was used were using vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes were used to create a lot of heat into the system of computer. Second generation started to use transmitters. Third generation started to use ICs. ICs are nothing. They are just short for integrated circuits. Fourth generation started to use microprocessors and the fifth generation started to use artificial intelligence. For example, today we have chat GPT. What is chat GPT? That is your fifth generation computer. So mind you, currently we are living in the fifth generation of computer. So if anyone asks you how many generations of computer are there, then you have to say that, sir, there are five generations of computer and currently we are in the fifth generation of computer. Now, the question was regarding third generation of computer were based on which of the following technology. Therefore, the answer will be IC, that is your integrated circuit. Now, my multi-dollar question for you. How many of you remember the full form of VLSI? VLSI. What is the full form of VLSI? Come on, I want to see debate happening in the chat box. Okay. Don't worry, I will finish the class by 5.30. Believe in me. But I want to test your knowledge. I want to see that how many real aspirants are sitting over here. How many serious aspirants are sitting with me right now? What is the full form of VLSI? Can someone let me know what is the full form of VLSI? No one till now I have not received any answer. Very large scale integrated circuit. Yes, Dexon Fernandez has given the right answer. So VLSI was used in which generation? Can someone let me know? Yes, very large scale integrated circuits. Bhi lagana hoga, okay. Can someone let me know VLSI was used in which, which particular generation? VLSIs were used in which particular generations? Yes, very good. I can see maximum of you are giving the right answer. Ravi, uh, Pranali, Jaya Lakshmi, all are giving the right answer. They were used in which particular generation? Can someone let me know whether they were used in third generation, fourth generation or fifth generation? Yes, VLSI were used in your fourth generation. Unlike VLSI, there is also a term of ULSI that is ultra large scale integration. They were used in the fifth generation. So please remember all these small, 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 small points can give you 
वेरी क्रूशल मार्क्स आई अगेन रिपीट थर्ड जनरेशन में वी हैव आई सी सिंपल आई सी इन फोर्थ जनरेशन में वी यू वी स्टार्टेड यूज वी स्टार्टेड यूजिंग वी एल एस आई एंड इन फिफ्थ जनरेशन वी स्टार्टेड यूजिंग यू एल एस आई दैट इज योर अल्ट्रा लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेशन ओके सो कुडोज टू ऑल ऑफ दोज हु हैव गिविंग द राइट आंसर वेरी गुड यू आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री चलो नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू लैंग्वेजेस विच वर यूज अक्रॉस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जनरेशन ओके विच लैंग्वेज वॉज यूज टू प्रोग्राम थर्ड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स हाउ मेनी जनरेशन आर देर फाइव नाउ टेल मी अंडर थर्ड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर विच लैंग्वेज वॉज यूज I hope you remember there are different languages via which you talk to computer. Today we are talking in a very you know a kind of a literature manner, but you can't talk to computer in this manner, right? You have to use the machine language to understand computer, right? So please tell me which language was used to program third generation computer. Rosa is going with D high level, cool. Uh, Ravi is also going with uh, Ravi is going with assembly. See, also remember this particular chart. The correct answer is high level, but do not care about the answer. First, right now we are focusing on the revision. Okay, first generation was using machine language or low level. Machine level language is that particular language which can be understood by the computer. As simple as that. Okay, second generation computer was using assembly language. Okay, assembly language again. It is a kind of a low level language only, but it is higher than the machine language. Okay. then third level languages were using high level package high level languages high level languages means your cobol your fortran your pascal so on and so forth we will discuss all the high level languages later in the class now the question was very clear and straight forward that the language which was used to program third generation computers the correct answer therefore will be high level languages which will be your option number d okay so kudos to all of those who have given the answer d now here i can see maximum people are going with c some are going with e so this is where revision will come into the picture right now if you are giving the wrong answer there is no issue but do not give the wrong answer if someone ask you again okay because you still have more than a month to go fourth generation computer started to use a software packages which is kind of a again which is kind of a, a very high degree language only so again if i have to revise please remember there are five different generations but the languages have been given to four generations only cool question number 4 now i am coming to different types of computers okay chalo question number 4 desktop and personal computers are also known as a very easy question i am keeping the level low right now so that we can increase it on the later part question number 4 desktop and personal computers are also known as desktop and personal computers who will give me the right answer for question number 4 i am waiting for your right answers yes desktop and personal computers are also known as your micro computers therefore the answer will be option d now tell me which particular type of computer will be used for weather forecasting and for astrophysics kind of thing which kind of computer will be used from the same set of options for weather forecasting and to solve certain big big mathematical issues or for astrophysics can someone let me know the answer of this particular question which i am asking to you right now if i am saying uh, in the in the same set of options that is option a to e which type of computer will will you use for weather forecasting and for high level this yes then your answer will be super computer desktop and personal computers right now if you are view, uh, watching this particular video from your laptop or from your personal computer they are your mi micro computers only okay but when it comes to for example weather forecasting and so in that case you will use super computers okay don't worry quantum computers there is no term when it comes to the basic language of quantum computers but the correct answer of my question was super computer so do not get confused just remember the keywords okay question number 5 who among the following is known as the father of modern computers mind you modern computers pucha hai who among the following is known as the father of modern computers who among the following among quantum and super the correct answer will be super okay uh allen tuning शुभम कैन यू प्लीज एक्सपेंड मुझे क्या नहीं पता है आई कैन प्लीज लेट यू नो सी हेयर द फादर ऑफ मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर्स इज आज द फादर ऑफ मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर्स वॉज एल एन ट्यूनिंग बट इफ आई आस्क यू हु इज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स 
हु इज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर देन वॉट विल बी योर आंसर मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर का फादर कौन होगा एल एन ट्यूनिंग बट हु इज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स हु इज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स फादर ऑफ मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर्स इज एल एन ट्यूनिंग ओनली बट हु इज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स इन जर्नल सेंस देन योर आंसर विल बी ओके आयुष आई विल जस्ट क्लियर योर आउट डस्ट वेट फॉर अ सेकेंड ओके येस इट विल बी देन चार्ल्स बाबिच आई अगेन रिपीट इट फॉर यू माई फ्रेंड्स when the question is very specific that who is the father of modern computers then your answer will be what allen tuning okay if the question is very specific that who is the father of modern computers but if i remove the word modern and i if i just ask you that who is the father of computers then you have to say charles babbage okay so do not get confused someone was asking uh, what is the difference between mainframe and my uh, mainframe computer main frame computer is used for storing big big data for example if today google has to store data of all the different different users they will use main frame computer they will uh, they will be using super computers only when they have to solve some like critical issue they have to make sure that multiple mathematical operations have to be solved at one particular moment for example chat gpt chat gpt is using super computer in its backhand because multiple users are asking multiple things to that particular poor fellow okay yes now i am moving to question number 6 cool question number 6 which is an emerging branch in computer science which interprets means the method of making computers think like human beings a very easy questions if your concepts are clear shubham i am waiting for you what you want to ask please let me know do not just accuse the teachers like that that is really very rude question number 6 which is an emerging branch in computer system which interprets means the method of making computers think like human being come on i am waiting for your answers uh vishal please stick to the book language do not uh, runs into the different different zones father of computer is charles babbage fathers of modern computers is your Alan Turing so please remember this yes your answer will be ai that is your artificial intelligence now these are the journal type of questions which can definitely appear in your nabard grade a exam as well okay so please remember that the answer of this particular question will be option c that is your artificial intelligence mind you what is cloud computing can someone define what is cloud cloud computing in 10 words what is cloud computing in 10 words if you have a basic knowledge of computers can you define cloud computing in 10 words i am not looking for some era gera answer so please be specific that what is cloud computing according to you this is how i will test your knowledge because anyone can go and reveal the answer okay even shubham can come over here and he can reveal the answer but what is cloud computing tell me what is cloud computing my friends what is cloud computing can anyone let me know what is cloud computing i am waiting for 10 more seconds for your answers yes tool to store data you can also say that you can store your data in an online format for example today one person who is sitting in australia other person is sitting in india another person is sitting in sri lanka they all want to store their data at some common places so they can store their data at some common places which is online for example we have one drive which is a product of microsoft okay yes storing of data on internet good good samyak data storage which can be accessible from anywhere very good the main computer where some no no not the main computer it is an online computer or you can say the online space wherein different particular parties are storing their data okay cool chaliye question number 7 now the circuits that include cpu and memory chip is located on dash it is a processor blockchain okay yukta i will explain that don't worry blockchain is nothing see blockchain what happens is you are making a decentralized ledger for example currently if you see if i just uh, draw this particular diagram on your screen blockchain like for example this is one you can say one particular storage device which is physically handled by some other company okay so here you have stored different different informations okay now this is not blockchain what is blockchain that i will explain you now now what you have done is you have divided this data into different different components all these different different components 
are nothing they are just different different blocks so instead of having one big particular data you have divided your data into small small blocks that is what blockchain is all about all these blocks will be certainly be connected to some uh, will be connected to each other now mind you my friends blockchain is a very advanced technology okay if you just know the basics of it it is very much good to go yes the correct answer will be motherboard now tell me whether this particular statement is correct or wrong motherboard is a kind of a software true or false motherboard is a kind of a software is it true or false motherboard is a kind of a software motherboard is a kind of a software is it true or false yes the answer is false why because motherboard is a kind of an hardware now what is hardware i hope you know it hardware is something which you can touch you can feel it but software is something which you cannot feel it you cannot i would say you cannot even touch it so hardware ko you can physically go and touch that particular device i can open the cpu and i can take the motherboard out so i am able to touch the motherboard so motherboard is a kind of a hardware okay so remember all these small small things can definitely add value to your knowledge चलो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी क्वेश्चन नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट राइट नाउ अ कंप्यूटर दैट कंबाइंस द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एनालॉग एंड डिजिटल कंप्यूटर्स अ कंप्यूटर दैट कंबाइंस द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एनालॉग एंड डिजिटल कंप्यूटर इज नोन एज व्हाट यस इट्स इट्स अ हार्डवेयर यस वेरी गुड Uh, i want to see the same amount of energy till 105th question and i will be bringing certain previous year questions also to check your knowledge oh yes the correct answer will be yes the correct answer will be hybrid computers hybrid computers are those computers which combine the characteristics of analog and digital computers please understand if i combine these two i will reach to the hybrid computers okay analog computers are those computers in which you have to enter the data in a physical format for example we have this uh, like we have thermometer so thermometer mein you have to enter the data you or you have to give certain data to it for example you will press your thermometer and inside your mouth so on and so forth okay plus digital computer is something which is quite digital which understands only the language of zeros and one if i combine these two then i will reach to the component of hybrid computers okay again a very easy question now we are solving a previous year question which appeared in the year 2020 So let's see who give me the right answer. This thing we have discussed earlier also. What is the language used in the second generations of computer? This thing we have discussed. So I hope maximum of you will be giving me the right answer. What was the language used in the second generation computers? This is a previous year question, mind you. Aram se karna. It should be no hurry. Assembly basic. Uh, right now i'm getting the answer as e some uh, people are also going with yes the correct answer will be option e what uh, what, uh, what was the language for third generation of computers what was the language of third generation of computers come on revise with me third generation computer used to have which particular language third generation i am asking Yes, here the correct answer is option E. Only that is assembly language. Okay, assembly language was used in second generation. Yes, third generation may we have high level. Fourth generation के अंदर what type of languages were there? Fourth generation के अंदर I am seeing the chat box. Please type in your answers. Eighty people are there, but hardly twelve to fifteen people are answering. Under third, uh, under your fifth, uh, fourth generation, which type of language was used? Fourth generation. under fourth generation which type of language was used under fourth generation yes good very good rashmi it was software languages or you can say software packages as well okay good good everyone rashmi shoyab rajeshwari yukta everyone going on, everyone is going on the right track question number 10 dash is the processed in information by computer processor dash is processed in information by computer processor so can someone let me know what is processed by information in information by computer processor question number 10 right now dash is processed in information by computer processor 
Yes, the correct answer will be data. Now, please tell me whether this particular statement is correct or wrong. Data is organized in nature. True or false? I again repeat the statement. Data is organized in, in nature. Is this statement true or false? Input is processed and output is data. No, Mohit. Whether this particular statement is correct or wrong? Yes, it, this particular statement is incorrect because data is unprocessed. Unprocessed means what? That it is unorganized. For example, if I draw something like this, okay, I draw something like this on your screen. Okay, I'm drawing something this. This is the example of data because it is unprocessed. It is unorganized. But my friends, if you feed this particular data to computer, computer will give you a organized information. Computer will give you information, mind you. And this information is organized. Organized means what? That you will be able to understand that what this particular data is about to say. For example, this data is saying, my name is Jalaj. Okay. My name is Jalaj. Now you are able to understand the information. Okay. So please remember data is unorganized. It is a kind of something which is very complex. But when it comes to information, information is a kind of thing which is very much organized and information can be understood by all the other users of computer as well. So please remember data is processed. Data is processed means what? That data is unorganized. I am again writing unorganized over here. But it will be pro it will be processed by the computer and then it will become information. Information means what? That you and me can simply understand it as simple as that. Okay. So here the answer was option C. Question number 11. Question number 11. Yes, uh, Yukta is saying it right. It's, it's an organized set of information which computer then process to generate output. And that particular output is called as information. Okay. Chalo, question number 11. Question number 11. Let me see who gives me the right answer for question number 11. Dash are spatially designed computer chip that resides. Resides means what? Kyunke under rehta hai inside the other devices, such as your car or your electric thermostat. Yes, those are called as embedded computers. For example, if you have smart watches, so under smart watches, there is an there is an embedded computer. All those embedded computers gives you the data that you have walked so and so kilometers, your heart rate is so and so, and, and, and the so on things. Okay. Therefore, the correct answer here will be what? Embedded computers. Good. Very good. Yes, I can see maximum of you are answering on the right track. Now, question number 12. This thing we have already discussed. I'm not wasting much of your time. So please answer it in a very quick format. Yes. Uh, Vijay, smartwatch is an example of embedded computers. Very good. I need answers from everyone. Do not become a couchy potato, my friends. Okay, right now the question language are easy. Dhere dhere it will increase. Mainframe computers are those computers which will store data in a very big, big formats. Okay. Chalo, question number 12 right now. Hybrid computer we have discussed. Digital computer we have discussed. Embedded computer we have discussed. Yes, the answer will be analog computer. Analog computers are those computer which will accept the data in the form of physical quantities to perform calculations. This thing also we have previously discussed. So I'm not wasting much of your time over here. This is a very easy concept. All you need to understand is analog plus your digital will give you hybrid computers. Simple concept. Nothing much to worry about. Okay. Now let's move ahead. Question number 13. Question number 13. Yes, the answer is analog. Now I want the answer of question number 13. Again, trying to revise your concept. Dash is the data that is organized and presented in the meaningful manner or meaningful fashion. Dash is the data. Now here, dash is the data that has been organized and presented in a meaningful fashion. So that will be your information. Can I call? Can I call information as my input? Can I call my information as my input? True or false? Again, I'm putting one question for you. Can I call my information as input? True or false? I'm waiting for your answers. Can I call information as input? Yes, it will be false. Why? Because information is always an output. 
वॉट इज एन इनपुट इट इज योर डाटा सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर डाटा को आप कंप्यूटर में फीड करते हो दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज इनपुट बट वॉट इज योर इन्फॉर्मेशन इट इज ऑलवेज योर आउटपुट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी विल रिवाइज गुड कूल मूविंग अहेड क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन विच पार्ट ऑफ द सी पी यू नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू दर आर की ऑफ कंप्यूटर विच पार्ट ऑफ द सी पी यू कोऑर्डिनेट ऑल द फंक्शन ऑफ कंप्यूटर एंड अदर कॉम्पोनेट्स येस वेरी गुड तुलासी मेघना दैट इज इंफॉर्मेशन इज आउटपुट वेरी गुड इनपुट इज डेटा वेरी गुड इंफॉर्मेशन इज आउटपुट येस हरमन ज्योत इज ऑल्सो गोइंग इज विथ इंफॉर्मेशन इज आउटपुट गुड क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन which part of the cpu coordinates all the functions of computer and also if you know the answer chalo i will wait for it yes the control unit of the cpu first also tell me what is the full form of cpu i hope ye to sabko aata hoga because this is something which we have done in our 11th or 12th classes or even in you know secondary schools like 8 9th and 10th what is the full form of cpu pata fat what is the full form of cpu What is the full form of CPU? CPU का full form क्या होगा Can someone let me know what is the full form of CPU? Yes, central processing unit. Very good. Okay, so CPU will have two parts. I hope you remember CPU. In school days, we have understood that CPU has two parts: the central unit and the sec. Uh, the next one is ALU. That is your arithmetic logical unit. ओके तो सी यू विल बी दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ योर सी पी यू विल विच कॉर्डिनेट ऑल दी फंक्शन ऑफ कंप्यूटर एंड अदर कॉम्पोनेंट सो इट इज लाइक द मैनेजर ऑफ कंप्यूटर एज सिंपल इज दैट ओके देन वी कम्स टू ए एल यू कैन समन लेट वी नो वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ ए एल यू ओके ऑल्सो प्लीज लेट वी नो दी लेट वी नो दी फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ए एल यू ओके सो आई एम आस्किंग यू टू क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू टेल मी द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ए एल यू एंड देन वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ ए एल यू प्लीज फटाफट ALU compares numbers very good Dixon ALU stands for what ALU yes ALU uh, arithmetic and logical operations very good uh, just UPSC <laughs> very funny name i would say yes ALU is that particular component which will compare numbers compare numbers and it will do all the arithmetical calculation like plus minus so on and so forth okay so please remember here the answer was option c that is your control unit why because it is something which will be managed by the computer it is something which will manage all the other different different functions of computer okay chalo dash question number 15 information travels between components of motherboards information travels between components of motherboard through dash चलिए क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 राइट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 यस ए एल यू विल डन ए एल यू विल डू ऑल द अर्थमेटिकल ऑपरेशन फॉर द कंप्यूटर लाइक प्लस माइनस कंपेयरिंग ऑफ नंबर सो एन एंड सो फोर्थ ओके सो वी हैव 105 एंड फाइव क्वेश्चन माई फ्रेंड टिल नाउ वी हैव सॉल्व 15 क्वेश्चन चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 इंफॉर्मेशन ट्रेवल्स बिटवीन कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ मदर बोर्ड motherboard mind you my friends it is a component in which different 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 components of computer are stored okay and it is a kind of an hardware please remember it yes the correct answer will be buses buses is that particular thing in which the information between different different other components of motherboard will flow so for example if my hand is a motherboard and i have different different things on motherboard all these different different things will coordinate via themselves with the help of buses so please remember this is also one of the famous concepts of your computer knowledge mind you what is peripherals can someone let me know uh can i associate the word of software to peripherals yes or no only those who have the knowledge of you know hardware and software they will be able to answer it can i address peripherals as my software can i address peripherals uh, as my software the answer is no peripherals is attached to the word of hardwares hardwares are what which are attached to the computer like for example i have mouse i have an external keyboard i have an external headset which i am wearing right now what are these these are something which are connected extra to the device and maximum of the time they are they are your hardware only okay coming ahead the answer of this question was question number uh, the answer of 15 was option number c cool now question number 16 yes very good connected external devices very good good now i am talking regarding question number 16 question number 
dash is indeed a critical component of cpu and it can be considered as a mathematical mind of computer so when it is asking mathematical mind mathematical mind ek hi hota hai that is your alu and mind you alu is a is a component of your cpu only so please remember it is a critical component of cpu and now again if you see previous year questions multiple questions have appeared from the different components of cpu so again this year also we can expect the same trend question number 16 the answer is b this we have already discussed right now i am coming to question number 17 which one of the following is not a characteristic or features or functions of the computer which one uh, which of these is not the characteristic or the function of computer come on i need the answers data collection data storage data processing or data copy ya fir none of the above which one of these is not a character not pucha ye yaad rakhna yes the correct answer will be data copy data copy is not a function of any computer okay data copy is done by ms word or something like that but it is not the basic function of computer data collection definitely if you store data then only you will receive uh, then only you will receive information data storage it will definitely uh, whatever data which you will add to the computer it will be saved somewhere in the computer data processing simply means that it is converting data to information as simple as that but data copy is not one of the functions or i should say one of one is not one of the basic functions of computer okay again the answer will be option d those who have given the answer as d kudos to them you are on the right track question number 18 chalo computer manipulate data in many ways manipulate means what that computer will take the data and it will do certain plus minus to it this particular manipulation is called as what this particular manipulation will be called as what mind you my friends the bad grade a notification is out okay so if you are answering all the questions over here then definitely your knowledge is good can someone let me know what is the answer of question number 18 question number 18 yes it is known as processing processing again all these are just the fancy words if you just remember that data ko input uh, information mein badalna hai that is what processing is all about okay so this is what the manipulation is all about so answer over here will be processing okay yes i can see maximum of you are giving the right answer so kudos to your knowledge question number 19 is again a previous year question so mind you please attend this particular question with care which of the following directs the compute directs the component of computer to perform tasks in a specified in program instructions okay now this is a previous year question appeared in the year 2020 batching means that you are implementing certain batches like file 1 file 2 file 3 at the same period of time i have one question on batching don't worry we will solve that okay चलो वॉट इज द आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन येस इट इज योर कंट्रोल यूनिट नाउ यू कैन सी द लेवल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन मैक्सिम ऑफ यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर इट इन अ वेरी राइटली मैनर दैट कंट्रोल यूनिट इज दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ योर आई वुड से सी पी यू ओनली विच विल मैनेज ऑल दी अदर फंक्शन ऑफ कंप्यूटर इट विल ऑल्सो मैनेज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अदर कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर एज वेल ए एल यू का थिंग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सो आई एम नॉट पुटिंग दैट अगेन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी when instructions is read from memory it is called as what now i hope you remember the uh, instruction cycle of cpu there are four steps but i will tell you those later but right now i want you to address question number 20 question number 20 my friends question number 20 when instruction is read from the memory it is called as what when you are reading instructions come on i need the answer memory write cycle maximum of you are going on memory write cycle is this the correct answer no d is not the correct answer i give you one another chance to answer it okay so i can see this particular question is tough chalo i am i am not revealing the answer i am giving you one more life life cycle or you can say lifeline what we have in kbc D is not the right answer. Try to attempt this particular question again. Yes, now 
Rashmi. Rashmi is coming with answer or option B. Now, if you remember, my friend, there is a four-step process which happens when you are seeking different different memory from CPU. First, you will fetch. Fetch means what? That you will try to read the memory. So this is what the op quotation is saying. When an instruction is read from the memory, it is known as fetch. You are fetching that particular memory. Decode means what? That you will that that the computer will try to decode that particular instruction in its own language, which is machine language. Then computer will try to execute it. Then computer will try to implement it rather, and then computer will store it. So please remember, fetch ke andar kya hota hai? We try to read the instructions. Decode ke andar the conversion will happen. Computer will convert that particular code into machine language, and then computer will execute it, and then computer will store it. Okay, so please remember the answer of this particular question was fetch. That is your fetch cycle, which is the first step itself. Okay, so do not get confused. If you have got this particular answer wrong right now, don't worry. Just revise it multiple times, and you will become a pro in computer as well. Question number twenty-one. Question number twenty-one. Chalo. Question number twenty-one. Dash is located on the upper left corner of computer keyboard. It is often used to quit, cancel, or abort a process which is running on the computer. Yes, maximum of you are giving the right answer now. That is your. Ah, uh, Rome. Rome. Where did it come from? Rome. So, there was no. Come on, I need the answers of question number twenty-one now. Questions number twenty-one. Dash is located in upper left corner. Upper left corner of what? Computer keyboard. Yes, the answer will be escape key. Very good. Now tell me how many functions keys are there in the keyboard? Uh, uh, options are eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. How many functions keys are there in your keyboard? I am watching the chat box, so I need your answers. I want to see that how many of you are the serious aspirants. How many function keys are there on your keyboard? Yes, answer is escape. That I also know. Plus, please let me know. Yes, there are twelve function keys. Very good. Now tell me an example of toggle key. Can someone give me an example of toggle key? Yes, the answer is twelve. Many of you are going on the right track. What is an example of toggle key? What is an example of toggle key? What is an example of toggle key? Come on, I'm waiting for your answers. Be thoda sa fast, because in this exam you have to save your time in computer and invest the same in your ARD, ESI, and GS section. Yes, caps lock. Caps lock is one of the key. Very good. We also have num lock. That is also an example of that only. Mind you, modifier keys are an example of shift control. So please do not get confused, my friend. Modifier keys different hota hai. Toggle keys different hota hai. Toggle keys are your caps locks and num locks. But when it comes to modifier keys, they are something like control and alt and shift as well. So do not get confused. Okay. So now question number twenty-two, which is used. to create a digital presentation of the printed document or a photograph or i should say which of the following which of the following is used to create digital representation of printed document and photograph which of the following now i am asking questions regarding question number 22 i need answers of question number 22 jaken is going with scanner Scanner is used to create digital representation of printed documents or photograph. How many of you agree with Jaken? Now Mohit is also going with option B. Yes, the correct answer here will be option B only. One of the easiest thing which you could have asked for. Scanner is something which will create a digital representation of the printed document or a photograph. Very easy to understand. All you need to do is just scan the documents, and you will get a printed or I would say digital representation of a printed document or a photograph. Okay. Question number twenty-three. Question number twenty-three. The transfer of data from CPU. to peripheral units mind you here i am not talking regarding motherboard motherboard is something different motherboard ke jo components hote hai unka communication happen via buses this we have already discussed but here i am talking regarding transfer of data from cpu to peripheral devices peripheral devices means what the external devices which are added to the computer like mouse external keyboard the headset and so and so forth 
the communication that is a transfer of data from cpu to peripheral devices of computer is achieved through what is achieved through input and output ports very good my friends i was not expecting the right answer but maximum of you have given the right answer that is option number d very good i can see maximum of you are giving the right answer uh, tulasi is going with modern modern is not the correct answer okay yes it is your input and output ports good question number 24 the display size of monitor is measured dash like it is measured horizontally is it measured diagonally it is measured vertically or is it measured sideways the display size of monitor display size of monitor is measured in which particular way yes if for example if you purchase monitor and if i say this is a 16 inch monitor then i will say that this particular diagonal is of 16 inch okay so this is how you mention the uh, mention the i would say the display size of a monitor the correct answer over here will be diagonally good good everyone good this is one of the famous questions of computer language okay question number 25 in which part of the computer the work done by computer operator is displayed through in which part of the computer the work done by computer operator is displayed so if i am doing any work on the computer where will i get to know that my work is done or not question number 25 in which part of the computer the work done by computer operator is displayed through now can someone let me know the full form of vdu VDU. What is the full form of VDU? I know the answer is option B. Chalo, the answer is option B. But what is the full form of VDU? Visual Display Unit. Yes. I am also asking you one very famous full form of PDF. What is the full form of PDF? Chalo, chalo, jelly, jelly. What is the full form of PDF? Let's revise. Thoda sa fast in a fast forward manner because we have almost finished one fourth of the questions which are there in our session today. Okay, what is the full form of video that we have discussed? Visual display unit. But right now, I want you to answer the full form of PDF. Yes, very good. Portable document format is the correct answer. It is not the printable thing. It is portable. डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर्मेट सो प्लीज डो नॉट गेट कन्फ्यूज मैक्सिमम जगह पे मैक्सिमम चीजें लिखी होती गलत गलत भी बट इट इज पोर्टेबल डॉक्यूमेंट फॉरवर्ड कैन समन ऑल्सो लेट मी नो द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ वेरी फेमस वर्ड यू आर आल यू आर एल वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ यू आर एल वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ यू आर एल विजारा इज सिंग विराज इज सिंग फाउंडर ऑफ पी डी एफ डाइड रिसेंटली गुड Oh, sorry. I am saying that your knowledge is good. Universal resource locator. Locator. Everyone agree with Samyak? Yes, it is uniform resource locator. What is the full form of CAD in the computer parlance? CAD in computer parlance. Now, do not say, sir, current account deficit. That is in the economic parlance. But what is the full form of CAD? What is the full form of CAD? What is the full form of CAD? Come on, very fast. I'm increasing the level now. What is the full form of CAD? Do not say it as current account deficit. Computer aided design. Very good, Dixon. It is computer aided design. It is used in your joysticks. Also, please let me know the full form of. a uh, very easy full form www this i hope maximum of you would know that is world wide web so not wasting much of your time yes what is the full form of lcd what is the full form of lcd what is the full form of lcd yes maximum of you api is application programming interface if i am not wrong api is a kind of a platform which Host different different kinds of platforms. Liquid World Wide Web is www. Liquid Crystal Display, very good. Yes, yes. Someone in the chat mentioned regarding API. Can someone confirm the full form of API? That is Application Programming Interface. If I am not wrong, can someone confirm the full form of API? 
Uh, Yukta, are you able to understand? If you are unable to understand, then please say repeat in the chat so that we can uh, reach on the common understanding. What is the full form of API? Come on, people. Application programming interface. Hai. Ek bar aap check karna, Jaken. Okay. But according to the best of my language, it is application programming interface. Okay. Good. Okay. So these are very famous full forms of, uh, I would say what? Yes, there is one more full form which is HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. So you have to remember all these things. Now on this particular slide only, I have asked you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 questions. So this is how your revision should be. Okay? Uh, Ajay, is, Ajay is going on totally on a different track. Okay? So before I move ahead, my friends, again, the Nabad notification is out. We have launched a very big or I would say a very big step toward that particular notification. We are providing you Nabad three day live crash course in which you will get live classes, which if I'm not wrong, are starting from tomorrow. So please be there with us. We will be there to help you to realize this particular dream. And mind you, my friends, in this particular course, you are also getting the mind maps. Mind maps are like are a good tool to revise. If you are like one hour short of your overall duration then you can revise one whole component or one whole chapter with the help of mind map so again you will get all the different different things now the code is selection if you want to get it you can get it okay so now let's move to question number 26 question number 26 full form of mouse this is something i am listening to the very first time uh, is there any full form of mouse? If it is, then please uh, let me know in the chat box. Full form of mouse. Even I am unable to recollect it. Sorry. But I will post it in the uh, when the session gets completed. If there is any legit full form of mouse, I will definitely post it in the uh, comment section. Okay. Individual dots that form an image on a monitor is called as what it is known as pixels now tell me if i have to measure if i have to measure the refresh rate of the monitor then i will be calling at uh, then i will be using which particular option from the given set of options if i have to measure there are these live selections live selections uh, i am unable to understand what is this live selection Manually operated user selection equipment. Okay, nice. Your Hertz, then yes. Hertz is that particular thing which will measure your refreshing rate of the monitor. Okay, plus uh, larger the pixels, the better it is. Okay, cool. I can see the uh, full form of mouse. Even that is really very new to me. Manually operated user selection equipment. Very good. Uh, Archana and Yukta. Thank you for ask, uh, push, putting this particular thing in the chat box. Okay. Chaliye. Question number 27. Unintended interactive information system such as or ATM is called as what? Which are unintended. Unintended means that there is no person who is attending it. All you need to go is just uh, go and operate over here. Meditation, you do uh, really need to meditate. Manually operated user selection equipment. Yes, thank you, Jay Lakshmi. Can someone let me know question number 27 ka right answer? Is it Kjox? Is it Seox? Is it Scanto? Is it Kisix? Yes, the correct answer over here will be Kjox. Today you might have seen different different Kjox which is being used in SBI. The passbook printing Kjox, the different different check accepting Kjox in private sector banks, they are used at a much larger level. Okay. Uh, now I can see a debate is happening. Everyone is trying to show off their knowledge. Uh, different, different other full forms are also coming in. Chalo, question number uh, 27, the right answer was Kiox. Okay, question number 28. Chalo, now I need the answer of question number 28. Which among the following device converts computer output into a form that, comp that can be transmitted over a telephone line? So here, mind you, the keyword is telephone line and which particular device converts computer output into a form that is transmitted over a telephone line. Yes, now here I would say the answer will be what? Modem. 28D, teleport. Modem. Hai. Teleport is just given to confuse you, my friends. Okay. But when it comes to the traditional, when it comes to the most accepted 
telephone line which is used in computer it is modem only and it is used only to connect to the internet as well but these days i know it is not used that much today we have wifi and all but when it comes to the computer history when it comes to the way computer works yes very good then we have to remember that it is modem only now dexen has given the correct uh, i would say uh, full form of modem as well so very good question number 29 chalo question number 29 Question number twenty-nine. Which device involves photo scanning of the text characters? Don't get confused. यहाँ पे text characters लिखा है. By characters, analyzing the scanned images and then translation of the character images to character code. चलो. Who will give me the right answer for question number twenty-nine? Question number twenty-nine. I am waiting for the right answers. And also, first, chalo, answer ko maro goli. First, give me the full form of OCR. Full form of OCR. Barcode. No, 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 not barcode. Barcode me there is no text character. Barcode is not the right answer. Can someone let me know what is the full form of OCR? OCR full form. Shubham is going with D. मैग्नेटिक इंक करेक्टर रिकोगशन यहाँ पे कहीं मैग्नेटिक का मेंशन ही नहीं, नहीं है तो आंसर डी तो हो ही नहीं सकता इट कैन नॉट बी इवन सी दैट इज बार कोड का भी कुछ बार कोड नेवर मैंशन दी करेक्टर इट मैंशन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट यू नो ब्लैक स्ट्राइप्स yes optical character recognition omr is what optical mark recognition okay here if you see the correct answer will be option a why because it is correct correct uh, text characters which is getting analyzed in the form of characters only so basically if i write these lines over here and if i have this component of ocr in my hands i will be able to recognize all the characters which are written in the paragraph That is OCR. OCR में the main thing is what character का recognition. OMR के अंदर it is mark recognition. So for example, if we remember that we used to fill that particular OMR sheet for different different exams. So here computer is not analyzing any character. It is analyzing the mark which you have made on the I would say what made uh, made on your OMR sheet. Barcode reader is completely different. Under barcode reader, you will have different different swipes, right? And barcode will barcode reader will analyze the product via analyzing these swipes. And then you have magnetic ink character recognition (MICR), which is a nine-digit code. If I am not wrong, it is generally used in your checkbooks. Under MICR, mind you, my friends, there is one magnetic ink. on which different different characters are uh, are printed and then micr code is run for its identification okay so here mind you the correct answer will be ocr only okay yes check pe we used micr good okay so now coming to question number 30 which of the following is not a point and a draw device which of the following is not Point and a draw device. Now, maximum of the time we take mouse only as a point of as a point and draw device. But which of the following is not? Pucha ya pe. Which of the following is not a point and a draw draw device? Yes, check pe we use MICR. Very good. MICR. Remember, it is a nine-digit code. But trackball. mouse the answer will be here keypad my friends what you are doing don't worry see keypad is something which is not point and draw trackball remember the old zamana where then wherein we have one big trackball by which we used to shake our hands on okay we used to move that particular track box and the cursor on the screen used to move with us okay do search the image of track ball then you will understand it mouse is a classic example of point and draw touch screen also if you have touch screen in your phone what you are telling the phone that i want to move towards this particular direction but keypad keypad is not a touch uh, it is not a point and a draw device you cannot point anything on the keypad you cannot also draw anything on the keypad okay so please remember that keypad is not a point and a draw device but largely speaking mouse trackball and touch screen are your example of point and draw device okay is this thing particularly very much clear to you is this thing very much clear to all those who are seriously attending this class 
are you agree with me that the answer should be keypad only because under keypad we cannot do any touch or you can see we cannot do any point and draw device okay everything okay if you need explanation yes joystick can be a point device good very good yes chalo question number 31 a previous year question which uh, this is asked in the year 2021 okay which of the following is not an input device which of the following is not an input input means what that i am giving inputs to the computer so which of the following is not an input device yes the correct answer will be speaker is scanner an input device is scanner an input device scanner is scanner an input device my question to you is is scanner an input device is scanner an input device yes the answer over here is yes speaker is an output device because it gives us the sound waves yes scanner is an input device via which you give the rep uh, digital representation to the computer good 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 everyone i was in, uh, i was expecting the right answers of it cool chalo question number 32 now we are moving to memory now i am taken taking one question from 2019 previous year questions chalo question number 32 a previous year question taken from the year 2019 question number 32 question number 32 also let me know one nibble is equals to yes one nibble it is equals to four bits eight nibbles is equals to what if i say eight nibbles then it will equals to what nibble means what 0 1 this is singular 1 singular 0 yes if you see the answer will be four bits only okay sorry if i uh, i i think i asked the wrong question over there if you see there is one bit one bit means what the single digit 0 and 1 One nibble is equals to four bits. Basically, it means zero, one, zero, one, zero, or it can be any other form as well. One byte is equals to eight bits. Okay, so I was asking you one different question over there. Apologies for the slip of tongue. My question was very much straight. That one, uh, eight bits will equals to what? Eight bits equals to one byte. And also try to remember this particular. I would say memory chart. Okay, because it is very very important for you. remember one bit then you will go to nibble and then you will go to byte okay so this is very 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 important when it comes to the computer understanding of memory part okay and also remember that yotta byte is the highest memory unit till now which we have discovered okay chalo question number 33 which of the following is a secondary storage device again taken from your 2019 paper which of the following is a secondary storage device secondary storage device secondary means what that you are giving something from the outside secondary means what something which you are giving from the outside question number 33 which of the following is a secondary storage device catch how it can be catch are secondary pucha itna easy question kaise galat kar sakte ho which of the following is a secondary storage device the answer will be hard disk hard disk is something which you will provide to the computer okay so that is a secondary storage device ram and rom they are not your secondary storage devices okay no no my friends you will have to revise the memory chapter okay yes it is a simple question but i can still see many people are going on different different tracks okay question number 34 chalo question number 34 dash is a permanent memory which all data and instructions for startup of computer and does not erases after power off to yahan pe aapko permanent memory likhani hai question number 34 those who are going on different different tracks i will tell you i will advise you to go and revise the chapter of memory 
there is primary memory and secondary memory primary memory can be divided into multiple parts we have your fl uh, cache memory flash memory ram roms other kind of memories too but secondary memory is a uh, can i say floppy disk is an example of secondary memory true or false can i say floppy disk is an example of secondary memory can i say floppy disk is an example of secondary memory true or false anyone in the chat box floppy disk is an example of secondary memory true or false yes it is true because it is added something from the outside likewise you uh, you would have heard about cds that is your compact disk your dvds digital versatile disks they are also an example of your secondary memory now i cannot cover each and everything in this class because if i cover then this particular class will become a 5 to 6 hour long which i do not want to have okay if you want to have classes then you can come in our live classes or live crash course chalo question number 34 dash is a permanent memory permanent memory is always your rom that is read only memory now tell me read only memory pe chalo this is a very easy question i know you will be able to answer it under read only memory you cannot make any changes because it is not it is only read only you cannot do writing over it but what is the counterpart of rom it is your ram that is your random access memory here you can do read plus write okay please tell me whether ram is volatile or not please tell me whether ram is volatile or not ram i am not asking regarding rom ram is volatile or not uh sir kahan se kar sakte hai computer uh, you can either do on your i would say uh, from youtube as well don't worry if you just uh, cover the basic part that is good to go okay yes ram is volatile so ye confusion nikal dena ram is volatile okay so please understand rom is non volatile yahi to question mein pucha tha which hails which does not erases his data i am putting it again for oh, sorry i am putting it again for you so that you do not have any confusions ram and rom bhi bachcho ko confusion hota hai bahut aur isse har saal question aata hai to ek bar samajh lo in a very brief format rom which is your read only memory is ke andar you can only do reading you cannot do any writing stuff over here writing means what that you cannot do any changing stuff you can only read it as simple as that and this particular type of memory does not erases his data after power off so this is non volatile i hope you agree with me but the other counterpart which is your ram that is your random access memory under this you can read plus you can write also but this particular memory is volatile in nature volatile means what the moment you switch off your computer your memory will be lost if it is not saved so this are the two different type of memories which you have to remember please ram and rom pe pakka question aayega okay question number 35 half byte half byte means what chalo question number 35 i am waiting for the right answers for question number 35 and uh bakul you can also search for pdfs on telegram okay wo bhi theek hai aur previous year questions sare solve kar lena because uh, last year we if i am not wrong three to four questions were repeated so this year also we can accept this chalo question number 35 the answer will be nibble very easy one bit One bit, two bit, then we have four bits. Four bit is known as nibble, and eight bits is known as byte. If you do half a byte, which means what? That you are talking about four bits. Then your answer will be nibble over here. Okay. Question number thirty-six. Come on, it is a good question. Yes, good, Dexon. Half byte is four. Four bits. Half byte is four bits. So it is a kind of a nibble only. Hello. Question number thirty-six. Dash is the process of locating. the non contagious fragments of data into which a computer file may be divided as it is stored on the hard disk rearranging the fragments and storing them into fewer fragments for a whole file now this is a confusing question take your time to answer it question number 36 question number 36 why only few people are answering what is happening to other people 
this is the stage where you can make mistakes i am checking the chat box please everyone please participate yes the answer will be defragmentation defragmentation means what that you are clearing certain spaces in your memory you are trying to free up certain spaces basically you are just trying to divide different different uh, big big things so that more storage can be there okay so this is what your defragmentation is all about okay the answer will not be segmentation segmentation was just given to confuse you paging kuch hota nahi hai combination is nothing over here in the field of computer okay the answer will be defragmentation okay question number 37 the term gigabyte the term ye bhi aapka ek previous year question hi hai the term gigabyte gigabyte refers to what gigabyte ko gb bhi bolte hai okay what is the what is the value of gigabyte it is 1024 kb or is it 1024 mb or is it 1204 byte or is it 1024 gigabyte yes you can skip it but please try to attempt maximum of it okay because see only 20 questions will come in your exam out of 20 you only need to attend 10 with full confidence if you are able to do that you are almost through this particular class okay you are almost clear this particular section as well so please try to avoid certain confusing questions and just try to focus on 10 easy questions simple okay but do not go wrong simple question number 37 yes the answer will be option 1024 mb please do not get confused okay gigabyte mein mb ka wo hota hai cool question number 38 the location of a unit of data in a memory array is called as its very easy question if your basics are clear question number 38 i am checking my chat box question number 38 let me see who gives me the right answer shubham if you still have any doubt please ask me okay question number 38 explain 36 again just a second yes it will be known as address address is the location of unit in a memory array so basically it will let you know that where the data is stored in your computer each and every data will have certain address attached to it for example we all have different different aadhar cards which are unique to us in the same manner different different data units will have their own addresses in the computer okay uh, someone was saying question number 36 right uh question number 36 see defragmentation means what that you are rearranging the fragments and restoring them into few fragments or a whole or into a new file now see focus on this particular line now basically if you have different different i would say big big memory units you have big data with yourself okay now if you have big data definitely the space in your computer will fall you your computer will run with a slow speed your computer will have low refreshing speed and your computer will not be able to do good so this is why defragmentation is done basically defragmentation is all about dividing these big big data into small small things okay and computer will decide that where, the, where, uh, where i can keep this particular piece of data where i can keep this particular piece of data so that the big unit is broken down into small small things and it can be used as and when required so this is basically what defragmentation means okay now i am coming to question number 39 how many uh, functional keys are there on keyboard this thing we have already discussed right there are 12 functional keys which are present on a keyboard i hope you all agree with me i hope you all agree with me cool so now i am going to question number 40 up to this particular point i think each and everything is clear question number 40 which of the following are normally used to initialize to initialize a computer system hardware is it bootstrap memory volatile memory external mass memory static memory or none of the above which of the following are normally used to initialize a computer system's hardware also at this particular moment i would like to know the full form of the term bios that is b i o s also please type in your answers for the full form of b i o s 
what is the full form of BIOS? What is the full form of BIOS? Yes, the correct answer will be option A only that is bootstrap memory. But right now, please tell me what is the full form of BIOS? I'm waiting for your right answers. Come on. Till now, we have solved around 40% of the class. 105 questions have to be done, which I will complete by 5.30. Basic input output system. Very good. Yes. Basic input output system is are all those files which are required to restart your computer or you can say to start your computer. So bootstrap memory is that particular file which are normally used for computer system hardware when it is starting at when it is starting in the initial phase so when I, you are starting your initial phase then definitely you will use certain bootstrap memory and one very close term which is associated to bootstrap is bios that is your basic input and output system okay question number 41 uh, the dash is the section of ram mind you ram is something which is volatile where your computer stores the copies data Hello, who will tell me the right answer for question number 41? Is it clipboard? Is it copy area? Is it binary number? Is it copy paster or none of the above? Yes, Shubham is going with A, that is clipboard. Yes, the correct answer will be clipboard. Very good, my friends. So basically, clipboard is that particular section where you will you will come store the data which is copied. Okay, if it is not safe, then say Tata bye bye to your Tata. Okay, so clipboard is the right answer of question number forty one. Very good. Now I am moving to question number forty two, which is a previous year question. Chalo, let's see who will give me the right answer for question number forty four, forty two rather. Sorry, who will give me the right answer for question number forty two? Forty two D. Shubham is going on a very fast track. He is saying D. Now tell me how many types of booting are there? I hope you remember there is warm booting and there is cold booting. Okay, cold and warm. Under warm booting, it is a kind of it is an example of restart. Restart means what? That you are your computer is on on stage and you are going on the on stage again. So it is said as on to on. That is your warm booting. Cold booting is off. To on okay so please remember all these different different terms yes whole boot is done when you are pressing a power button power button means what that your computer will sleep and then after sometimes you will wake up your computer so that is what cold booting is all about okay therefore the answer will be option D good no no the answer will be option D no power supply that is not making any sense question number 43 again a previous year question Starting a computer or a computer embedded device is called as what? Is it, it is a very easy question, I would say. Question number 43. Question number 43. Question number 43. Yes, it is known as your booting, my friends. Booting is the right answer. Booting is something which you will start your computer again. Okay. When you are starting your computer again, then you will do booting. Therefore, we have discussed bootstrap memory and also we have discussed regarding BIOS. That is a basic input and output system. Cool. I can see maximum of you are going on the right track. Yes, it is known as booting. Question number 44. Question number 44. Question number 44. A set of programs which consist full docu set of documentation. Full set of documentation kon se programs ke andar hota hai? Question number 44. Let me see who gives me the right answer of question number 44. Software packages, database packages, file packages or bus packages. Dekho, bus packages to kuch hota hai nahi hai. File packages is just given to confuse you. The correct answer will be option D. That is software packages. Software packages just a window install karni hai. So windows ke saath you will see different different other packages which will also get installed in your computer. Database packages is related to data. For example, tables and columns or other forms of data which you are feeding to the computer. Okay. Yes, the correct answer will be software packages. Good. Okay. 
now i am coming to question number 45 space life programs now i am talking regarding space life programs okay now i am talking regarding space life programs till now i can see the crowd is getting reduced i don't know what is the reason but again please be with me for next one and a half hour or i would say one hour only right now and we will solve multiple other questions as well question number 45 space life program space life programs means what that for example ms excel ms excel is a kind of a space life program which you can use only for spreadsheet purposes you cannot use ms excel for drawing purposes because that will be a cumbersome process yes your answer then will be application programs ms word ms excel ms i would say outlook all are an example of your application programs only therefore the correct answer will be application software good question number 46 dash converts all the statements in a program in a single batch resulting a collection of instructions in is placed in a new file a confusing question take your time to address it a confusing question question number 46 take your time to address it question number 46 is it compiler is it converter or is it instruction the correct answer will be compiler mind you my friend both compiler and interpreter they are used for your high level languages to convert into what to convert into machine language which is a low level language so when you are converting high level language to machine level language you will use either compiler or interpreter okay but mind you there is a difference between compiler and interpreter compiler will convert all the different different you know languages in just one single paragraph interpreter will go line by line so this is a big difference between compiler and interpreter i again repeat compiler will convert the high level language one full paragraph at the same time but interpreter will go line by line therefore the correct answer will be compiler can i use assembler can i use assembler for converting high level language true or false can i use assembler for converting a high level language true or false i am checking your chat box please let me know can i use assembler for converting an high level language yes or no please answer my friends please be thoda sa fast because then only we will be able to revise other questions yes the answer is no because assembler cannot be used to convert high level languages assembler can only be used to convert assembly language into the machine code which is also known as machine language okay so assembler cannot be used for high level languages please mention this thing in your notes or any other thing which you are making question number 47 yes the correct answer was false which of the following is a computer program that converts assembly language to machine language now this is the this is the just the thing which we have discussed right now it is your assembler language okay assembly uh, assembler will convert your assembly language into machine language machine language is nothing it is just zeros and ones okay this is also known as binary language okay assembly language is again a low level language which is being used to give certain instructions to the computer cool question number 48 question number 48 yes the answer was d i am not wasting much of your time over there question number 48 which of the following is an application software application software i have already told you come on i need the right answers of question number 48 from everyone 84 people are there with me i need answers for everyone Question number forty-eight. Which of the following is an application software? Yes, the correct answer will be all of the above. Okay, the correct answer will be all of the above. Very good, very good. Because you can use MS Word, MS Excel, web browser, and other databases just for that particular purpose only. That is for web browsing or for MS Excel or for MS Word. Okay, you cannot use these software for paint purposes. I can not use any drawing. uh you know drawing purposes for ms excel good question number 49 program of a computer presented as a sequence of instruction in the form of binary number it is known as which type of language 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन आई नीड योर आंसर माई फ्रेंड आई नीड योर आंसर प्लीज रिवाइज विद मी आई एम नॉट टीचिंग यू एनी थिंग राइट नाउ बिकॉज दिस इज द टाइम फॉर रिविजन ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक कम इन द लाइव क्लासेज यू कैन कम सो बट राइट नाउ आई एम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन Yes, the right answer will be machine language. Now, here, my friends, you are again getting confused. Do not uh, get confused. Okay, program a computer presented as a sequence of construction in the form of binary numbers. Abhi maine bataya tha that binary numbers are your machine language. Then why you are getting confused? Okay, high level to ho nahi sakta. Assembly language is again not a machine language. Mathematical mathematical language kuch aisa hota nahi hai. Only correct answer will be option D over here. Okay. Now question number fifty. Question number fifty. Come on, we have hit the half century over here. Question number fifty. Oh, sorry. Here I would write uh, not Kabul. Here it can be C plus plus. Okay, C plus plus. Le lo. Yahan pe basic ho gaya. Kabul ho gaya. Java ho gaya. Okay, Fortran as well. Fortran. Pascal. R is the apple of what? Uh, Nagesh, what is your confusion? Please let me know. Yes, they are your high-level language. Okay. Now, just for the uh, sake of convenience of, uh, I am again repeating the concept of languages over here because that is really very easy, uh, important to understand. So listen to it very carefully. Okay. First thing you have to understand is that we as humans, we as humans have a to totally different set of languages. For example, we have our own literature, we have your own Hindi Vyakran kind of thing, right? In the same manner, computer has its own language, which is known as machine language. Okay? Computer does not understand hi, hello. Computer does not understand namaste or everything. Computer only understand machine language. Machine language is also known as binary language. Why? Because there are only two things which are uh, which are there in your machine language. Either it is zero or either it is one. So, for example, if I am saying hello, computer will interpret it somewhere like this: one double zero, one double zero. Now, this is what assembly language looks like. You can just say it as an assembly language. This is what your machine language looks like. So computer will understand your machine language it will not understand any other thing rather than machine language so this you have to understand okay now this is your uh, here my friends the answer will be high level language okay now again we have a course if you want to subscribe it right now we are using the code selection you can use this particular code and get 50% off okay question number 51 question number 51 Which of the following is an example of low level language? Low level language कौन सी हो जाएगी आपकी Low level language. Yes, full form of कोबोल is common or common business oriented language. Good. Question number फिफ्टी वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लो लेवल येस सी प्लस प्लस पाइथन जावा दे ऑल आर योर हाई लेवल लैंग्वेजेस बट योर असेंबली लैंग्वेज इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लो लेवल लैंग्वेज टू कन्वर्ट असेंबली लैंग्वेज विन यूड असेंबलर प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ओके असेंबली लैंग्वेज को मशीन कोड में बदलने के लिए वी यूज असेंबलर ओके येस आई कैन सी मैक्सिमम ऑफ यू आर गोइंग विद ऑप्शन बी गुड क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी टू Which of the following is included in utility programs? Utility programs means what? That these are the programs which will provide an ad, an additional facility to the computer. Chalo, question number fifty-two. Which of the following is included in utility program? Backup software, disk fragmentation, disk com. See, disk defragmentation again. The term is coming. Here we here we mean what? That you you will loosen up the space in your disk. Disk compression means what? That you will increase. Uh, you will reduce the size of a disk by compressing it. So you will have to focus on the keywords. 
yes here the answer will be all of the above that is your virus scanning backup software disk defragmentation disk compression all are the extra facilities which are provided by the utility programs okay so answer will be all of the above question number 53 question number 53 question number 53 and my friends i hope you all are enjoying the session till now if you have any problem if you want me to reduce the speed if you want me to explain more if you want me to run fast please let me know i hope till this particular point you all are enjoying the class okay which software takes control of the computer system on startup I can see maximum of you are going with B that is operating system which is the correct answer okay operating system is that particular uh, uh, software of the computer which will which will manage all the inputs and hardwares for example if you have if you are using your mobile phone right if you are using your mobile phone then you might have Android or if you are an Apple user then you might have an iOS so what are those those are your operating system of your phone okay or Ria is asking sir is this uh, uh, perfect hai. okay I'm just reading the chat run fast okay I will run fast thoda. please explain more see you will have to uh, you will have to tell me that where you need the explanation I will do it sir is this lecture sufficient no this lecture is not sufficient you will have to read certain more topics like memory different different types this particular lecture is very good for revision purpose okay i am feeling hungry that is <laughs> totally a nonsense thing okay chalo let's move ahead question number 54 the steps and tasks needed to process data such as responses to the question on clicking an icon is called as what very easy question puja is saying we require more explanation explain all the options okay okay uh, Nagesh at the one time you are saying to run fast and what time you are saying to explain all the options hello I will try my best to explain all the options yes definitely Ria we will be bringing more lectures don't worry today we are just revising okay but please this is just a wake up call for all of you all you need to do is just check your level right now and if you see that if you are not going good then definitely you have to study a lot more okay yes those are known as your instructions okay so instructions are something which you will give to the computer right that how you have to perform a particular task simple operating system I have already told you it is something which is running in the backhand of your computer you have your Android and you have your iOS those are an example of your operating system application software this I have already told you they are your MS Excel files your MS Word file these are your application software which will give you certain kind of thing plus you have your system unit system unit is nothing it is just given to you know in a journal panelist to give to confuse you rather but here mind you the keyword was instructions okay now question number 55 There are these 105 questions. Uh, see, Vihar, you will have to practice a lot more. But again, these questions will help you to revise. In computer terminology, CAD stands for what? It stands for your computer aided, computer aided design. So here the answer will be what? Computer aided design. Yes, the answer will be option D. This thing we have discussed earlier as well. Can someone let me know the full form of OLED? What is the full form of OLED? I am increasing the level now. What is the full form of OLED? And also the full form of LED. Okay, give me the full form of OLED and LED. Abhishek, please type in your answer for first time only. What is the full form of OLED and what is the full form of LED? Uh, sir, I never studied computer after 8. No, uh, in this particular class, if there are 105 questions, then you should get because the total level of questions is easy to moderate then you should definitely get 70 plus over here okay 70 plus if you are getting in this class then it is good if you are not getting 70 plus then definitely it is a cause of worry yes led stands for what 
light emitting diode okay light emitting diode is an example of is is your led organic light emitting diode is an example of your oled or it is the full form of oled good very good can someone let me know the full form of tfts what is the full form of tft what is the full form of tft in the computer parlance what is the full form of tfts चलो वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ टी एफ टी थिन फिल्म ट्रांसिटर्स वेरी गुड जेकिन यू आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक क्वेश्चन नंबर डी क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव द आंसर वॉज ऑप्शन डी कूल क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स राइट नाउ ये थिन फिल्म ट्रांसिटर्स एल सी डीज एल ई डीज ओ लेट आर ऑल दी एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ योर टी एफ टीज ओनली चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स राइट नाउ डैश इज अ स्ट्रक्चर डाटा बेस इन विच डाटा इज स्टोर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स राइट नाउ नाउ आई एम कमिंग टू डाटा बेस डैश इज अ स्ट्रक्चर डाटा बेस इन विच डाटा इज स्टोर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल्स टेबल्स मीन्स वॉट दैट यू विल हैव सर्टन टेबल्स लाइक दिस सो यू विल हैव योर रो वन कॉलम वन रो टू कॉलम टू सो एन एंड सो फोर्थ सो दिस टाइप ऑफ डाटा बेस इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट रिलेशनल डाटा बेस इज द करेक्ट आंसर हर आर की डाटा बेस मीन्स वॉट दैट दिस इज योर बॉस वन then you will come ahead this is your boss 2 then you will have this this is your boss 3 then you will come ahead this is your boss 4 now this is what hierarchy database is all about but when it comes to relational database relational database is arranged in the form of row and tables till in this particular question i can see maximum of you have got confused network database means what that a computer is connected to different different network simple that is what your network database is cloud database you all are connected on the cloud computing what is cloud computing that i have already discussed with you okay question number 57 now in the in the field of computer what is the full form of rtf what is the full form of rtf in the field of computer what is the full form of rtf come on i am seeing your answers in the chat box do not let the energy go down in the field of computer what is the full form of rtf yes rich text format so here if you see the answer will be option answer will be option e right because none of the above gives the right none of the above gives the correct full form of rtf it is rich text format okay no no it is not right yahan pe confuse nahi hona hai uh, the it is rich टेक्स फॉर्मैट रिच टेक्स फॉर्मैट और अगर आप देखोगे ऑप्शन ए बी सी डी दे ऑल आर जस्ट कंफ्यूजिंग यू देर फॉर द राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन ई दैट इज नन ऑफ दब इट इज रिच आर आई सी एच टेक्स टीई एक्स टी फॉर्मैट एफ ओ आर एम ए टी देर फॉर नन ऑफ दब इज करेक्ट देर फॉर द आंसर वॉज ऑप्शन डी दिस इज हाउ गूगली विल कम इन योर एग्जाम्स एंड दिस इज हाउ यू विल लूज मार्क्स एज वेल ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट question number 58 uh, even dexin get confused in this particular question <laughs> question number 58 question number 58 yes nagesh it is rich text format okay question number 58 dash is the central part of the operating system it manages the operation of computer and hardware and notably and notably memory and cpu time can you let me know what is the central part of operating system now see sunrays core margin or softin they are nothing they are just given to confuse you the correct answer will be kernel okay kernel is the correct answer over here why i am not seeing the answers in the chat box kya ho gaya hai aap sabko the answer over here will be option c that is your kernel core wagera sab yahan pe aapko confuse karne ke liye diya gaya tha okay so please understand ki yahan pe the main thing the main thing was regarding kernel okay this is how you have to identify the main concept okay question number 59 question number 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन आई एम सींग द चैट बॉक्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ माई फोन ओके सो प्लीज प्लीज टाइप इन योर आंसर चलो द मेन पर्पज ऑफ डैश इज टू रिवॉल्व रेफरेंसेज अमंग द फाइल्स सो बेसिकली As I told you, data will be addressed with the help of what addresses. I have already told you that each and every data will have an address. In the same way, to avoid references among the files, we will use what? We will use linker. Good, everyone. Those who have given the right answer, good. Now here, see, my friend, antivirus means what? I hope you know it. It is a software which will fight against the virus. Come on, give me the full form of virus. Give me the full form of virus. What is the full form of virus according to the young minds which are sitting in my class? What is the full form of virus? Everyone is going with D. That is good. What is the full form of word virus? In my live classes, we have covered each and everything. Okay, but in marathon class, I cannot cover each and everything because <laughs> that will be like it will take somewhere around six to seven. Ask to complete a live class. Chalo, question number fifty-nine. Pay. I am asking you, what is the full form of virus? Why you all are taking so so much time to? Yes, vital information resource under siege. Very good. Can someone let me know the first virus which was developed in the field of computers? Yes, vital information resources or resource under siege, which was the first virus which was developed. which was the first virus which was developed under the field of computers and yes guys if you are enjoying the class if you feel that yes i have utilized your time then please pour some comments on the chat box or you can say in the uh, comment box as well torzen yes creeper good very good jaken creeper was the first virus which was developed and it is like one of the biggest virus which you have to remember cool question number 60 right now question number 60 The, the dash tells computer how to use its component. Very easy thing, my friends. Is ko to jaldi uda do. Ah, uh, people are saying brain. Brain. If I am not wrong, it was the boot virus. Okay, I will check this particular thing. Creeper was the first boot uh, virus. Ah, uh, if I am not wrong. Creeper is the correct answer to the best of my knowledge. Brain was first boot virus, if I'm not wrong. Okay, still I will get uh, get it checked and I will pin the comment in the after the video gets completed. Okay, chalo right now question number sixty on your screen. Question number sixty, my friends. I need answers for question number sixty. Yes, the answer was operating system. Operating system tells to how to use computer. Very easy. Is me. I am not explaining much because we have already explained what is operating system. Okay. Question number sixty-one. Which of the following operating system is also known as a single user operating? Single user means what? Yes, even I think Creeper is the right answer. But Brain is also one of the boot virus which was developed for the very first time. But the answer to my question was Creeper. Thank you, Yukta, for confirming it. Question number sixty-one. and also please let me know the full form of dos what is the full form of dos what is the full form of dos what is the full form of word dos unix is not the right answer unix is also not the right answer windows is also not the right answer the correct answer was dos can someone give me the full form of dos uh tulsi is asking brain first virus in india okay i didn't ask regarding india my question was very straight that which is the first virus therefore the answer was uh, creepers but as it is highlighted by tulsi that brain was the first virus in india but i cannot confirm this particular fact so i will post it after the lesson gets completed yes disk operating system under disk operating system only one user can operate that particular window or you can operate that particular operating system for very first time okay rest all are like multi operating systems okay now moving to question number 62 uh, girish is asking sir create a specific playlist 
Grish, I will request you to please mail this particular suggestion at hello at the rate edutap dot co dot in. आप यही चीज copy paste करके hello at the rate edutap पे लिख दो. My support team and my tech team will definitely do if the need arises. Okay. Question number sixty two, my friends. Now, which file is a batch file that is read? While booting a computer. Now, batch files क्या होती है? They come with the combinations: file one, file two, file three, file four. And once you execute them, all the four files will be getting executed. Their extension is auto batch, auto executive dot batch. So this is again the thing which you have to remember. Cool. So it is your auto executive batch. Auto means what? That it will get executed automatically. And BAT means what? That it is a batch files. Okay. Very easy to remember. Question number sixty three. Now I need answers from everyone for question number sixty-three. Sixty-five people are sitting with me. I need sixty-five responses for question number sixty-three. Till then, I will not move ahead. Question number sixty-three. This thing we have already done. Restart of the computer when it is already on. So on se on pe ja raha hai. It means what? On se on me ja raha hai. If a computer is going from on to on, then it will be called as what? On से on है. Your answer will be warm booting. Off से on होता, तो जाके वहाँ पे cold booting आता. Restart of the computer. Restart means what? That the computer is already in the on stage. For example, currently if I press the restart button on my laptop, computer is already in the on stage and it is already getting restarted. So means what? It is going on on to on. Okay, so that is your warm booting. Yeah, confuse nahi hona. Ye bahut important concept hai. Okay, but once I press the power button, I say that computer now you are allowed to sleep. Computer will glow into the sleep. Then I press the power button again. Then it is happening off to on. So वो हो जाता है आपका cold boot. Okay? Yes, very good, Pooja. Question number sixty four. Now also please give me the full form of P O S T. P O S T का full form भी देना होगा आपको. Okay, question number sixty four. सी ऑप्शन ए और बी तो सिर्फ आपको कंफ्यूज देने के लिए है यहाँ पे तो दे डजेंट मेक एनी सेंस ऑप्शन या तो सी होगा या डी होगा द प्रोसेस ऑफ चेक्स चेक्स आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट शुभम टू प्लीज री चेक द आंसर बायोस तो सिर्फ एक सॉफ्टवेयर होता है सॉफ्टवेयर होता है जिसके अंदर सारी की सारी फाइल्स होती है जो कि कंप्यूटर को रीस्टार्ट करने में हेल्प करती है इन अ वेरी इजी लैंग्वेज आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस अगेन इन इंग्लिश बायोस ओनली कंटेज द फाइल्स बायोस ओनली कंटेज द फाइल्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू रीस्टार्ट द कंप्यूटर ऑल द टेस्ट आर डन बाय पोस्ट पोस्ट इज व्हाट पावर ऑन सेल्फ टेस्ट तो ऑल द टेस्ट वेदर माय हार्डवेयर इज कनेक्टेड और नॉट वेदर माय मेमोरीज आर वर्किंग और नॉट वेदर एवरीथिंग इज वर्किंग और नॉट दैट इज डन इन द हेल्प ऑफ पोस्ट सो पोस्ट यानी क्या होता है पावर ऑन सेल्फ टेस्ट पावर ऑन सेल्फ टेस्ट में what we do we we ensure that all the checks are done okay so please remember this bios to ek software hai jiske andar sari files hai but here we have mentioned the word checks therefore the answer will be post i hope you all are connected with me on this particular point okay therefore the answer will be option c question number 65 question number 65 क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव राइट नाउ वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द टर्म बूटिंग बूटिंग का मतलब क्या है दिस थिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस राइट द प्रोसेस ऑफ स्टार्टिंग द कंप्यूटर फ्रॉम प्रॉवर ऑफ पोजिशन ओके देर फोर द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ए ओनली वंस आई रेड द स्टेटमेंट ए मुझे यही लगा कि यार यही करेक्ट होना चाहिए एंड देर फोर आई डिट रेड इवन बी सी डी दिस इज हाउ यू सेव योर टाइम राइट Yes, the correct answer will be booting. Booting means what? That you are starting your computer again from a power off situation, or you can also have from an off situation. Good. Yes, all of the, you are giving the right answers now. Question number sixty-six. Now I am coming to MS Word. Question number sixty-six. Let me see who give me the right answer for question number sixty-six. By default, on which page? Headers and footers are printed on. Again, this is also a previous year question. If I am not wrong, hello. Previous year question. 
by default on which page the header and footer is printed on <coughs> okay after this we have 45 more questions to go okay i will complete the session by 5 or 5:30 sorry yes it is pasted on each and every page that's why the answer will be every page remember header and footers are present in your insert tab insert tab ka jo ms word ka hota hai uske andar aata hai okay question number 67 what is the extension of the files created in ms word 97 and 2003 version what is the extension of files created by ms word extensions means what ki file ke piche ek jo word aata hai use apan extension bolte right so please tell me dot txt no dot txt is not the right answer it is doc but after 2003 mind you docs use hone laga hai so after 2003 onwards to docs use hone laga hai but before 2003 and 97 versions mein docs use hota tha okay i hope this thing is very much clear to you currently the answer is doc but after 2003 version we have using docx okay so ye aapko yaad rakhna hoga question number 68 Again taken from your previous year questions of 2019. Let me see who addressed this particular question correctly. Because if you are able to address previous year questions, then it means you are on the right track. Cool. Chalo. Question number 68. The mode of transmission that allows both commuting devices to transmit and receive data simultaneously. It is called as what? It is called as your full duplex. Good. Full duplex means what? That this is party one, this is party two. They both can communicate simultaneously. For example, right now what we are doing is a kind of a full duplex. It means what I am telling to you, you are listening, you are typing, and I am seeing your answers. So this is what full duplex is. Half duplex is what? That first party will give the necessary instruction to second party, and after listening to it. then second party will give the necessary instruction to your first party the same thing happens in your what walkie talkie first one person tells the message to the other then the other person tells the second message to the uh, one person okay so that is what your half duplex can be then you also have simplex simplex means what that that communication is only happening from one end okay there is no there is no uh, there is no communication which is coming from the other party okay there is no concept of simple duplex therefore the right answer of this particular question was option a good question number 69 my friends yes simple du uh, semi duplex or half duplex ko walkie talkie bol sakte ho aap theek hai question number 69 yes pager 2 smtp is a communication to protocol mere ko smtp ka full full form chahiye okay i need the full full form of smtp SMTP. What is the full full form of SMTP? Simple. Anyone who can help me? Full full form of SMTP. Yes, simple mail transfer protocol. As simple as that. Okay. So simple mail transfer protocol. So here the answer will be option B. Now here, remember the protocols. Protocols are those things which help you to transfer your data over the internet. Yes, simple mail transfer protocol. Good. Okay. Now this is an easy previous year question according to me. So question number seventy again. IP. IP means what? पहले तो इसका वो भी बता देना मुझे. Full form. Full form of IP. Full form of IP. Yes, it is simple mail transfer protocol. Good. Question number seventy. Hardly thirty-five more. Uh, thirty-five more questions to go. What is the full form of IP? IP का full form क्या होगा? Internet protocol. Now, if you see Internet protocol version four, Internet protocol version six. Currently, we are moving towards Internet protocol version six. Okay. So, if you see. The Internet Protocol version four used to have thirty two bits. Thirty two bits means what? Zero one zero one zero one, so on and so forth. Now IPv version six is having one twenty eight bits because the number of systems are increasing, right? So that is why IPv version six will have one twenty eight bits. Remember this. This is also very very important. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन ना वॉट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पैन हेयर पैन डीन्स योर पैन कार्ड पैन मीन्स योर पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क ओके वॉट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क यहाँ पे पैन पैन कार्ड वाला नहीं है परमानेंट वाला नहीं है आई एम आस्किंग यू पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क का यहाँ पे एग्जाम्पल क्या होगा येस वन ट्वेंटी एट बिट्स येस ब्लूटूथ ब्लूटूथ इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ योर पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई ओपन अ ब्लूटूथ इन माई फोन देन आई कैन शेयर द ब्लूटूथ विद ऑल दोज पीपल हु आर नियर बाई मी आई कैन नॉट शेयर द ब्लूटूथ विद दोज पीपल हु आर सिटिंग वेरी फार टू मी सर कैन एडू टैप मेक अ वीडियो ऑन कंप्लीट गाइडलाइन अबाउट नबार्ड ग्रेड आई टी ऑफिसर आयुष आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज मेल दिस पर्टिकुलर डाउट टू हेलो एट द रेट एडुटैप डॉट को डॉट इन ओके दिस इज द ई मेल आई डी विच इज आई एम गिविंग टू यू इस पर आप अपना डाउट लिखो इट विल डेफिनेटली गेट एड्रेस्ट ओके येस ब्लूटूथ इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क कैन आई से इंटरनेट इंटरनेट इज एन ऑल्सो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क कैन आई मेक इंटरनेट एज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पैन ट्रू और फॉल्स can i make internet as an example of personal area network can i make internet as an example of personal area network shubham is saying no yes the answer is no i mean that okay internet as an example of what then internet is an example of what internet is an example of what internet is an example of what i am waiting for the right answer Yes, answer is false. Yes, it is an example of wide area network. Good. Okay. Good. 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 Now, if you remember, there is pan, there is metropolitan area network, there is wide area network. So, I hope you remember each and everything. Okay. Now, in the class, I cannot cover each and everything. Please understand, and I am very sorry if if I am running thoda sa fast, but I have to complete the class by five thirty. Okay. but i am revising with maximum possibilities which i can do with you okay question number 71 the answer was a question number 72 now this is a very easy question mind you we will have one more class on youtube and in that class i will bring previous year question of 2022 and 2022 only 2023 to abhi hoga wi fi Wi-Fi. The range range of Wi-Fi has to be defined. Okay. Yes. The answer here will be IP address. Internet. Cool. Very easy question. अगर ये exam में आए, then it is a cake walk for all of you. Question number seventy three again. An example of your what? I would say. Uh, Maya, I will bring that in my next lecture. Whenever it is scheduled, you will get a notification. Okay. I will definitely bring it. Don't worry. 2021 and 2022. That's a guarantee from my end. Okay, I will bring it. Question number 73. Yes, Wi-Fi can be LAN and Wi-Fi can be PAN. Also depends upon the area. If Wi-Fi is only working in the home, then it will be an example of what I would say PAN. If it is working throughout your offices, throughout different different buildings. then it can be a local area network as well so it depends upon the area's range yes uniform resource locator can someone let me know the full form of dpi what is the full form of dpi dpi ka full form full form of dpi Dots per inch, very good, uh, Shubham. Shubham and Dekan are really going good. Okay. Question number seventy-four. Pooja is also saying dots per inch. Maya is also going good. Dots per inch. Ahana Sharma is also going with dots per inch. Jekan, so every time he is good also. So good. Every time he is right. Very good. Okay. Question number seventy-four. Question number seventy-four. Hardly twenty more questions to go after this. Okay, question number seventy-four. Dash is found just above the file tab option in MS Word. Its purpose is to provide convenient access to most commonly used commands. Question number seventy-four.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी फोर Yes, the correct answer will be quick access. Quick access are those tabs in file tab. They appear in your file tab of MS Word. Its purpose is to provide convenient access. Like you can directly cross the uh, document. You can minimize it. You can also reduce it in a very smaller screen space. Okay. Question number seventy-five. This also is a previous year question from two thousand twenty-one. okay someone was asking me the questions of 2021 so here it is the length of ipv version 4 i hope you all will say in unison this is a very easy question i request you maximum of you to participate and address this question okay i need answers of this particular question now yes it is a that is your 32 bits and what is the size of ipv version 6 uh riya uh, i am not the uh, person to address this right question uh, maximum types we take classes on our paid courses only but if you want to study more i can uh, refer to you to telegram groups you can also refer to youtube classes which are available freely on the youtube right so you can just uh, see the banking awareness thing of computer like in in bank exam we have computer awareness section so you can just refer to that as well but just complete the basic parts yes good now again the live course currently we are running 50% off you can use selection code over here you will get live classes like in live classes we will cover a to z of everything so for example if you want to understand what computers is what decision making is that those subjects will uh, i will be taking those subjects so i will be covering each and everything in computers and decision making plus mind you my friends this is a team okay we have a wonderful team each and every person over here is committed for your success okay so if you want to join it you can use selection code and get 50% off question number 76 chalo question number 76 in which network are both lan and man are present ab yahan pe aaram se lan yani kya hota hai local area network man yani kya hota hai metropolitan area network okay so lan and man are present in which particular type of network han kuch nahi hota hai ओके सैन भी कुछ नहीं होता है टैन भी कुछ नहीं होता है नाउ आई एम मेकिंग योर लाइफ इजी दो ऑप्शंस बचे दो में से यू कैन चूज एनी वन ऑफ योर्स प्रेफरेंस यस इट इज योर वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क तो वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क में आपके पास लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क भी होगा और मेट्रोपोलिटन एरिया नेटवर्क भी होगा ओके यस दंसर विल बी वैन दैट इज योर वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क कूल आई कैन सी मैक्सिम ऑफ यू आर गिविंग द राइट आंसर कुडोस चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन सर्वर्स दोज हुर सर्वर्स आर दोज कंप्यूटर्स दैट प्रोवाइड रिसोर्सेज टू अदर कंप्यूटर्स कनेक्टेड बाय दे आर कनेक्टेड बाय व्हाट यहां पे टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर नहीं पूछा है ओके okay, यहां पे आपको पूछा है दे आर कनेक्टेड बाय व्हाट Yes, the answer will be network. Mainframe computer में ना आपको already बताया है. They are heavy storage devices. Super computers are those computer which are used for solving high mathematical problems. They are used for uh, you know uh, for climate forecasting. They are also used for astrophysics kind of thing. Mini computer again, you can say those computers which are small in size is simple. Okay, so here the answer will be option A, network. Question number seventy eight. क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी एट हब हब मीन्स वॉट दैट देर आर सर्टेन हब्स विच आर देयर विच विल बी यूज टू कनेक्ट अ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंप्यूटर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम ड्रॉइंग राइट नाउ कम ऑन आई नीड आंसर ऑफ सेवेंटी एट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज कंप्यूटर वन दिस इज कंप्यूटर टू दिस इज कंप्यूटर थ्री दिस इज कंप्यूटर फोर दिस इज कंप्यूटर फाइव दिस इज कंप्यूटर सिक्स दे ऑल आर कनेक्टेड बाय एन हब दिस इज योर हब ओके सो हब के अंदर दे विल बी कनेक्टेड वाया व्हाट दे विल बी कनेक्टेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टार 
okay the answer will be star now what is ring ring simply means this like this is computer 1 this is computer 2 this is computer 3 this is computer 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay mesh mesh is something like this that it is each and every computer is connected to any other computer for example right now uh, computer 3 is not computer to is not connected to computer 6 but under mesh they both can be connected okay now tree tree is somewhere like hierarchy only that there will be one super computer then there will be some other computers then you will have another computer in between so on and so forth okay so question number 79 yes this also refers to topology you can say it as a topology that how you are arranging different different computers question number 79 hub can be used in mesh but in larger sense if you see if star and hub uh, mesh is present then i will be using star if you see in mesh each and every computer is connected to any other computer but via hub there will be a kind of centralization for example if computer 3 wants to talk to computer 3 that can only happen via hub that is in the star but under mesh ke andar ye ho gaya, then it will be a kind of a more flexible kind of thing okay in which channel the flow of data is always one direction one direction it is also one of the most uh, popular english band the answer will be simplex channel okay the answer will be simplex this thing we have discussed question number 80 a network that connects individual personal devices that are located close together this is also very easy i guess can I expect at least 20 correct answers for question number 80? Can I expect 20 correct answers for question number 20, 80, sorry. Yes, simple. Eh? Come on, I need the answer of question number 80. Yes, it is your pan area network. Okay. Closely located together, bola. closely located together is your pan area network. Metropolitan area network means what? Ki ek smart city hogi. Jaise if I am residing in Delhi, today G20 is happening in Delhi, right? So all the computers which are in, uh, which are employed in the G20 arena, they all have to be connected. Then I will be using metropolitan area network because Karol Bagh is a different place, Kanaut place is a different place, so on and so forth. What is wide area network? Wide area network is like internet. I have already told you local area network will be there in your buildings. For example, if I talk regarding EduTab building, then we have a local area network. We have two different floors. Okay. Floor one and floor two. And both the, uh, both the floors of the building are connected to one network. Okay. Yes. Personal hotspot is an example of pan. Good. Question number 81 now. Set of rules used by a network for communication is called as what? So for example, if I am connected to internet, I want to uh, adhere to certain rules. There are certain rules of internet. What are those called as? Very simple question if your concepts are clear. If your concepts are not, not clear, then each and every question becomes tough. Yes, those are known as your protocols. Very good. Okay, can someone give me the name of the person who invented www can someone give me the yes rajinder nagar bhool gaya important hai rajinder nagar is not hosting g20 na isliye bhool gaya by the way i am from rajasthan kota okay i just took the example of g20 question number 81 question number 81 the set of rules set by the network for communication is called as what him thomas www was invented by which personality anyone who knows it come on hardly 25 more questions to go i need full energy chalo we will discuss this thing later i am not getting the right answers is the chat working or not this is a very famous concept with tim bernard lee yes good okay tim bernard lee is the right answer okay and one more one more thing which i would like to discuss over here is that i have discussed this thing okay uh, html wala thing chalo i will discuss it in the later class or later slide i would say now how many layers are there under open system of interconnection model now this is one of the toughest or i would say one of the basic models which is quite tough to understand so just remember the basic thing 
चलो वट इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी टू Yes, OSI model. So, if you want to connect your computer to another computer or to another network, then you can use OSI model. Now, my question to you is: How many levels are there? How many layers are there? In fact, yes, OSI model has seven layers. Now, this is a factual question, mind you. Do not leave any topic from computers. If there is any factual question, it will be easy. Okay, yes, maximum of you are going with seven, which is correct. Any device connected to computer network is called as what? It is very good, Viraj, to skip questions. But mind you, now onwards, do not skip this question. Okay? So if anyone asks you how many layers are there under OSI model, then your answer should be seven. Okay? Question number eighty-three right now. Client or node? How many would like to change their answer to node? A device connected to the computer network. Device at device. Device पूछा है. तो answer will be node. Client तब होता है जब कोई physical form में बैठा हो. Okay, device यानी हो गया कि एक laptop हो गया. अब laptop को आप client थोड़ा ना बोल सकते हो. It will be a node. Okay. So do not go wrong under certain things. Parts यहाँ पे कुछ नहीं है. Okay, server I have already told you. It is like thing which is connecting different different computers. Eighty four. Question number eighty four. A terminal evaluation program of TCP and IP, such as internet, that allows to log in and remote computers, is known as what? TCP का full form भी बताना होगा आपको. TCP का full form. TCP full form. चलिए question number eighty four. Last twenty questions to go, and I hope you enjoyed the class. Although I admit that I was thoda sa fast, but I have to finish the class in the best manner as possible. What is the full form of TCP? Transmission Control Protocol. Good Maya, that is the right answer. ठीक है? Transmission Control Protocol is the right answer. Now, if you see, if there is any remote login, that can be done via Telnet. Okay. For example, if a person who is sitting in Australia, he wants to access his accounts in India, he can use Telnet, and he can definitely access different different accounts. Okay. So it gives you remote login. ये याद रखना. Remote login is the keyword. Question number eighty-five. A network topology where each node. Each node means what? Each system, system connects exactly to two another nodes. Okay, so basically one node is getting connected to two another nodes, forming a single continuous pathway for signals through each node. It is called as what? What will be the answer of question number eighty-five? This thing also we have discussed earlier that if computer one is connected to another computer and another computer, okay, that computer one is connected to computer two, computer three, so they will form a ring, right? Computer four will come over here, computer five will come over here, computer six will come over here, so they will form a ring. Therefore, the answer will be ring topology. Okay, very easy to understand once your concepts are clear. Rest all I have already explained. Okay. Question number eighty-six. Question number eighty-six. Question number eighty-six. Dash is a specific kind of a network topology in which all the various devices of a network are connected to a single line or cable. So basically, they all are connected to single line or cable. Okay. <coughs> Hello, I have drawn the diagram also. All the various devices are connected to a single cable or line. Cable or line के लिए the answer will be bus topology. Star topology कौन सी होती है ये वाली? That each and every one is connected to one single central point. तो होता है आपका star. Bus यानी क्या होता है कि एक single shaft होती है. I would say a single bus, just a figure. होता है उसके related computer one, computer two, computer three, computer four and computer five are connected. Please do not get confused between star and bus. यहाँ पे एक central point होता है तो जाके आपका answer बनता है star. But अगर कोई single line है और अगर कोई single cable है, then your answer will be bus topology. Okay? Mesh topology is like each and every one is connected to everything. 
रिंग टोपोलॉजी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू मल्टीपल टाइम्स ओके सो क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सिक्स द आंसर विल बी बस टोपोलॉजी क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सेवन दिस थिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड आई नीड आंसर फॉर एटी सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी सेवन The answer will be Tim Bernard Lee. Very easy to understand if you have focused on the previous explanations. Okay. Now I am not wasting much of your time over here. Let's move to eighty-eight. Question number eighty-eight. Which is a text field near the top of web browser window that displays URL of the current page? आपको URL current web page का कहाँ मिलेगा? As simple as that. Come on, I need I need answers for question number eighty-eight. Manas is also there. Maya is going with C. Yes, it is your address bar. Very easy. Each and every browser has an address bar. For example, if you see the HTTPS uh, editab dot co dot in, it is nothing. It is just an address bar. Okay. Coming to question number eighty nine. 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 Eighty nine का answer बताइए please. Coming to question number eighty nine. And also मुझे यहाँ पे ये भी बताना what is the short form or I would say what is the shortcut rather to address to enter an hyperlink in MS Word. ये भी एक previous year question है. Yes, the answer is over D over here. But what is the शॉर्टकट टू एंटर एन हाइपर लिंक इन एम एस वर्ड आप कौन सा शॉर्टकट लगा सकते हो जिससे आपका एक हाइपर लिंक क्रिएट हो जाए इन एम एस वर्ड येस वेरी गुड शुभम इट इज कंट्रोल प्लस के वेरी गुड ओके सो येस ऑल दी शॉर्टकट आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव सम क्वेश्चन विच वी विल डिस्कस येस कंट्रोल प्लस के क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन आई वुड से चलो इसको तो सब आंसर कर सकते हैं Even if you don't have any knowledge regarding computer, this question is addressable by each and every one of you. The number system based on zeros and ones. Yes, it is known as binary. Can I call binary number system, or can I call the language of zero one as assembly language? Can I call the language of zeros and one as assembly language? Can I call The language of zeros and one as assembly language. Yes or no? Jaykan, Priya, Shubham, Pooja, Dixon, uh, Jay Lakshmi, Swati, Ayush. No. Mohit is saying no. Yes, the correct answer is no. Why? Because assembly language is not of zeros and one. Zeros and one. के लिए we have machine language. Okay? Yes, I am expecting no no from everyone. Okay? Good. Question number ninety-one. How many values can be represented by a single byte? Single byte means what? How many bits over here? Single byte means how many bits? Single bytes means how many bits? Ninety-one. Ninety-one answer. Come on, hardly fifteen more questions to go. How many values can be presented by a single byte? Yes, eight bits. Eight bits can be arranged in two fifty-six ways. Simple. Therefore, your answer will be two fifty-six. Okay. For example, if I write eight bits, one, 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 triple zero, then you will say, sir, this is a byte. But I can also write it as zero, 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 one, one, one. This is also a kind of a byte. So I can arrange them in how many formats? I can arrange them in two fifty-six formats. Why you are seeing none over here? How many values can be represented by a single byte? According to the best of my knowledge, it should be option C only. Okay. Question number ninety-two. Now this is a question which I have uh, taken from a IBPS paper only. Which of the following is an example of binary number? Which of the following is an example of binary number? Binary number is a combination of zeros and ones. Okay. So your answer will be option B. A and H, they are not a form of binary number. Five is also not a form of A B C D is also not a form. Therefore, 
yes you can also say 2 to the power of 8 that will also give you 256 only the answer will be what 1001 the answer will be b no it will not be none the answer will be b binary number means what yaar binary number means the combination of zeros and ones i can write as many zeros and ones this is also a binary number okay so please remember that what is the correct definition of binary number question number 93 now Question number 93, value 37, means what? Hello, question number 93. Ravi Shankar is saying surprise session, kind of. Yes, graphical user interface. This is your, I would say, higher GUI you have, higher will be your graphics of the particular laptop or your desktop will be okay therefore the answer will be option a good now i am coming to certain shortcuts let's discuss regarding different different shortcuts 94 okay binary value of that number cool 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 Chalo, which of the following function serves as the keyboard shortcut for renaming of file Yes, yes, I got that. Decimal is a base of 1 to 9. And I know that. But that is not the main, uh, I would say, topic which Nabad asked for. Okay. Question number 94. Which of the following function key serves as a keyboard shortcut for renaming the file? Yes, the answer will be option B, that is F2. Can someone let me know the main function of F5? There are 12 function keys. F2 ka to chalo renaming ho gaya. Tell me the main function of F5. F5 is used for what? F2 to renaming ho gaya, I know this. F5 kis ke liye use hota hai? Yes, very good. It is used for refreshing. Okay, F7. F7 is used for what? F7 is used for what? F5 is refresh. I agree. F7 is used for what? F7 is used for what? F5 is used for Yes, very good, Mohit. It is used for your spell checks. Very good, uh, Dixon. And anyone else? Uh, Yes, F7 is used for your spell checks. This you have to remember. They can be a probable quotient as well. Okay. Yes, I use. Yes, Ahana. Yes, F12 is used for save as. Cool. Quotient number 95. What is the term given to unsolicited emails? Unsolicited emails ko kya bola jata hai? Very easy question, I would say. Spam. Okay. Spams are kind of uh, bin bolai mehman. Okay, so you can remember it in a very informal member that spam are those mails which are unsolicited. You do not call these mails, but they are just given to you for marketing purpose. Okay. Then coming to question number 96. Chalo, question number 96. What is the shortcut for selecting all in MS Word? All. Selecting all. ये तो बहुत easy है. Control plus A. Yes. Control plus S is used for what? Control plus S. Control plus S बताओ. I can see RSF, Ashwarya, Swati, Patil. They all are not active, but they like they only reply when they once they know the answer Koi baat nahi. i will meet you in the next class in that class i will ask all of you to please be participative yes control p is for print control s for save control a for your i would say uh selecting all what is the shortcut for save as except f12 what is the shortcut for save as save as kaise karoge aap? save ke liye to control plus hai Save as kaise karoge? Save as. My question is regarding save as in MS Word. What is the shortcut for that? 
सेव एस के लिए वॉट यू विल डू सेव एस के लिए कम ऑन आई नीड आंसर आई नीड आंसर माई फ्रेंड येस कंट्रोल शिफ्ट प्लस एस वेरी गुड मोहित ओके ऑल्सो कंट्रोल प्लस जे जस्टिफाई और टेक्स जस्टिफाई मीन्स वॉट लेफ्ट अलाइनमेंट एंड राइट अलाइनमेंट विल बिकम जीरो कंट्रोल प्लस ई इट विल सेंटर योर टेक्स कंट्रोल प्लस आर राइट अलाइनमेंट कंट्रोल प्लस एल लेफ्ट अलाइनमेंट ऑल दीज आर जर्नल एक्सेप्टेड शॉर्टकट कंट्रोल प्लस एक्स कट कंट्रोल प्लस बी पेस्ट कंट्रोल प्लस सी कॉपी आई होप यू ऑल अग्री विद मी ओके Agreed or not? मैंने कोई गलत तो नहीं बोला If I have told anything wrong, please let me know in the chat box. Till then, we will move to question number ninety-seven. Control Shift Yes, yes, good. Question number ninety-seven. Find text. Yes, Z redo. Z undo. Y redo. Good. Shortcut के लिए बताओ. Control K hyperlinks. वो भी याद रखना होगा एक. Yes, control plus find. Say you will have a find text. I would say the option wherein you can type in your queries and word will definitely respond. Question number ninety-eight. <coughs> Question number ninety-eight. i hope guys you enjoyed the class if you do please uh, leave certain comments which will motivate me in the chat box or you can say in the comment box after this class ends okay and i will check regarding that brain virus and i will let you know in the comment box only to open a word document which of the following control plus o isme itna sochne ko kya tha the right answer will be option b okay Question number ninety-nine. To close the document, which of the following shortcut will be used? Document in which MS X, MS Word. Okay, MS Word. Me, if you have to close a document, then which of the following shortcut will be used? Yes, Control Plus W. ठीक है. मैं पहले ही बोल रहा हूँ आप लोगों को. Short forms and shortcuts. 100% percent question will come now what will come that depends but definitely question will come okay therefore the answer of this particular question will be option b question number 100 after this we have five more questions to go question number 100 finally we have completed a set of 100 questions i hope you enjoyed it okay this is not the concept classes this was just a revision marathon so in the two and a half hours we have completed more than 100 questions i would say internet explorer and firefox are an example of your browsers very good okay they are not the example of internet please ye galti mat karna okay they are an example of browsers browsers means what that you can go and access the internet over here okay simple cool yes all all self F four will come close the software completely. Good. Now let's do certain five four questions. Hundred and one. Okay, so last five minutes and then we will end. And if you enjoyed the class, you can also mail your feedback at hello at the rate edutab dot co dot l. <coughs> okay, sharing of feedback is important because it is a way of two way communication. Question number hundred and one. dot buck is an extension of backup file okay backup files which are created in the event of emergencies okay so backup has to be created right so this you have to remember cool if i write xlx x l x then this is the extension of which file if i write xlx then this is the extension of which file slxx i'm waiting for your answers yes this is an extension of your excel files if i write p p t x then this is the extension of if i write ppt then this is the extension of your powerpoint okay so please remember these basic basic things 102 is a previous year question 
So let's see who gives me the right answer. Hundred and two. Three more questions to go after this. Hundred and two. Hundred and two. Yes, the correct answer was D only. The original houses. The virus that fools the user. Fools the user means what? That it will be getting dressed as the best friend, but in the reality, he is the best enemy of yours. Okay. Into downloading or executing them by presenting your useful application. So it will be like it will seem to you as a useful application, but in reality, it will be harming your computer. So those are known as your torsion horses. Okay. The answer will be option D. Question number hundred and three. Question number hundred and three. Database, database. I have told you relational database, hierarchical database, free database. I have already told you what are those databases. Okay. Also, please let me know what is the full form of the word D B M S. D B M S का full form क्या होगा? What is the full form of D B M S? D B M S का full form and also the answer of this question which of the following is used to answer a query yes the answer will be c dbms ka full form bata do jaldi database management system good viraj yes question number 104 what is gutter margin yes it is database management system good question number 104 क्वेश्चन नंबर हंड्रेड एंड फोर वॉट इज गटर मार्जिन यस द मार्जिन विच इज एडेड टू दी राइट नो विच इज एड लाफ्ट नो फाइंडिंग साइड ऑफ द पेज इज द करेक्ट आंसर बेसिकली इफ यू आर प्रिंटिंग टू पेजेस ओके यू विल सी सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस इज लेफ्ट ओवर हेयर ओके सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल इट एज गटर मार्जिन ओके सो राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन सी लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे आफ्टर दिस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज आई विल सिट फॉर अनदर फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स एंड वी कैन हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन दैट चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर हंड्रेड एंड फाइव Dash is the collection of data that is sorted electronically in the series of records. अरे तो बहुत ही easy question है and this is also a previous year question. The answer will be database. Okay. Again, my friends, that is the end of the class. But again, I would like to remind you that we are using a selection code to give you fifty percent off on your Nabard Grade A crash course, which includes each and everything starting from live classes, notes and mind maps and test series. This test is like one-stop solution for your dream to become an officer at Nabard Grade. That is end from my uh, from my end. I would say, my friends. Now, if you have any doubts, you can ask me, or if you want to, uh, please leave certain comments in the chat box, or I would say in the comment box. That will definitely motivate us to give certain more marathon sessions in future. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the class. If you have any positive feedback, then definitely you can mail us at hello at the rate edutab dot co dot in. If any doubt is there, then I am waiting for five minutes till five thirty-five. If you have any doubts, then you can ask me. Thank you, Swati. Actually, from last night, my throat is getting a bit off, but definitely I will use your <laughs> medicine which you have quoted. Okay. But again, I have done my duty. I have done my duty. I have done my duty to complete the class in the best manner as possible. Okay. Any doubts? I am waiting for five four minutes. All the best, my friends. The notification is out now. Do well. Do not go into the state of passiveness. Now is the time to become active. Okay.
is the ample of assembly language assembly language is all about uh, you know mnemonics for example you might call your father as hero so that hero will become mnemonic okay but again assembly languages assembly language is largely used for mnemonics kind of thing it is not understandable by the computer in the journal format you will have to use assembler to convert it to the machine language okay uh, sir bit byte gb kb yes dekho maine ek pdf mein uh, in isi pdf mein you will get one table but right now i am explaining you in very one basic thing बिट क्या होता है जीरो हो गया या वन हो गया ठीक है अभी आपके स्क्रीन पे दो बिट्स है इनको आप क्या बोलोगे दो बिट्स ओके बिट यानी क्या होता है एक सिंगल डिजिट इट कैन बी जीरो और इट कैन बी वन एज वेल ओके सो ये एक बिट है ये एक बिट है बट इफ आई कंबाइन दीज टू दे विल बी टू बिट ओके अब मैं अगर फोर बिट लिखता हूँ फोर बिट यानी वन जीरो वन जीरो या फिर मैं लिखता हूँ वन वन जीरो जीरो तो ये आपके क्या हो जाएंगे निबिल ओके ये आपके क्या हो जाएंगे निबिल ओके सो निबिल क्या हो जाता है कलेक्शन ऑफ फोर बिट्स तो जब आपने बिट्स फोर बिट्स ले लिए तो वो हो गए निबिल और अगर मैं एट बिट्स ले लू अगर मैं एट बिट्स ले लू यानी मैं ए, आ, दो निबिल्स को कंबाइन कर लू देन इट विल बिकम अ बाइट ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिक थिंग विच यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर आफ्टर दैट बिट के बाद डेफिनेटली निबिल आएगा निबिल के बाद बाइट्स आएगा बाइट्स के बाद यू विल गो टू किलो बाइट्स मेगा बाइट्स सेरा बाइट तो वो आप एक इमेज दे रखी है उसको देख के इसको समझ लेना बट ये बेसिक है अगर आपको ये समझ में आ गया तो वो भी समझ में आ जाएगा ओके सो वेन विल बी नेक्स्ट मैराथन इट विल बी समवेयर इन दी मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर नाउ ओके सो कम प्रिपेयर आई विल बी आस्किंग मल्टीपल क्वेश्चंस इन दैट हाउ टू कवर कंप्यूटर सिलेबस कंप्यूटर सिलेबस स्टिक आई वुड से कवर सर्टन बेसिक टॉपिक्स लाइक मेमोरी क्या होती है रैम रोम क्या होता है वॉट आर हार्डवेयर वॉट आर सॉफ्टवेयर सो एन एंड सो फोर्थ इफ यू कवर दैट then only you will be able to understand what computer is but do not try to become pro in computer theek hai just basic basics cover kar lo that is what we need okay anything else anything else i am waiting for just two more seconds and then we will leave pdf you will get in the telegram channel don't worry okay on that note my friend i am ending the class it was really very nice to connect with all of you all the best and keep preparing